Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, again, just to repeat, my name is John Duna, General Secretary of the Act Alliance. The Act Alliance is very much concerned that the threat of climate change is increasing and that actions by governments and the international community to address it is deplorable. It's very low. With the next international climate change negotiations starting on Monday in Warsaw, Poland, the COP19, we call for a very strong signal from the governments of the world that they understand the magnitude of this crisis. The ACT Alliance, as well as churches meeting here in Busan at the World Council of Churches Assembly, is very concerned at the low level of political ambition we have seen from the governments up to this time in point. This must change. Otherwise, we do risk an irreversible climate catastrophe. In September this year, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, released a report establishing that the connection between human activity and climate change is clearer than ever before. Therefore, Act Alliance calls for, one, that COP parties to provide finances to support climate change action. The Green Climate Fund that the COP parties agreed in 2010 and committed to raising 100 billion US dollars per year by 2020 is virtually empty at the moment. Therefore, we urge the governments of the developed countries to make the unconditional pledges to this fund that they agreed on in 2010. Second, COP19 must establish an international mechanism to address the issue of forced migration as a result of communities losing their land and losing their territories. Something particularly critical for island nations in the Pacific, such as Tuvalu, Kiribati, and others, whose lands are being submerged as a result of sea level rise. Third, the governments must commit to reducing greenhouse gases emissions by the required amount to, to keep global warming to below two degree centigrade. This target was agreed in the Copenhagen Accord in 2009, but to date, the pledges that the COP parties have made to reduce the greenhouse gases emissions fall far short of the goal. And the agreement was that 20 to 40 percent reductions should be made by the IPCC in order to meet the two uh, degree centigrade that I mentioned above. None of the developed countries that have pledged to reduce their emissions have yet achieved their targets. As time passes, the world gets warmer. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know time is running out. COP19 must set the tone and the pace for the 2015 COP21 in Paris, where the world expects a new comprehensive climate change agreement to emerge. 
failure to achieve this progress, we need in Warsaw next week will be severely jeopardized the ability to reach the legally binding ambition climate change agreement that our congregations around the world so urgently need to see that it is in place. Therefore, we call on every church and every church organization at this assembly to continue prioritizing climate change in their work and strongly push their governments to see beyond their own national interests and raise their emission reduction ambitions as well as provide financial support for the poor and the most vulnerable. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.